Oh, did you know? Father's Day. It's this Sunday. <laughs> and that means treating dad like a king. Did you hear that, everybody? Treating dad like a king. <laughs> all hail the yeah, king. All hail the king. An easy way to do that is indulging the sweet tooth and with some easy recipes that anybody can make. We have, of course, the lovely Juliette de Nibale. She's a culinary food director. And you're going to give me some tips here on what I need to make my daughter do to make some easy sweet treats for me. Absolutely. So the first thing we're going to do for Father's Day yes. is make a carrot cake in a mug. Carrot so, cake in a mug. Carrot cake in a mug. Okay. And and just the idea of all of these things that we're going to be making mm -hmm. is that we're going to be using juices uh, to oh. simplify the prep. Okay. Make it easier on everybody. What, what do the juices take the place of? All the vegetables. All the vegetables. And all that and stuff. So you're not uh, doing a lot of different. You're getting all of that flavor, but Got you're it. not having to do the prep. Love that idea. Shorten the grocery list. Cool. It's great. So this is a wonderful thing, especially for your kids to do, and or if you're baking challenged. <laughs> it's wonderful, I am way easy, it's like a no-brainer. <laughs> um, so you start with some flour, basic ingredients, salt, okay, baking powder. And is it uh, is it uh, coarse salt? Is it a uh, regular salt? Is I mean, it I tend to like or? either kosher or sea salt, fine sea salt. Sea salt. Okay. Nothing too coarse because then it doesn't dissolve as much. Got it. Okay. And then some sugar. Okay. And then here's what's traditional in Ooh. terms of the um, carrot cake flavor. It's Pumpkin spice mm -hmm. and pumpkin spice is just cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice. Sometimes it has ginger in it, so it's going to give you all that flavor. Another kind Can of. Can I like... get a pumpkin spice at the store? Do yeah, they have absolutely, a spice? Okay, absolutely, cool. just in the spice section. Um, then for a little richness, we're going to add a little vegetable oil. Got it. A little milk. Love it. And then the carrot juice, and so we're using 100% carrot juice for uh, this recipe instead of shredding and. Doing and I can just go get that in the store, a little bottle of it, right? No Absolutely. big deal. Absolutely. And the cool thing about this juice in particular is that every bottle has 11 carrots in it, so you're really getting an intense carrot flavor. Fantastic. So you're not missing out in this quickie cake. Uh, so you add that, and mm -hmm. then if you want to just give that a mix. No idea, yeah. Anything, I, is there a time where I know this is ready? or? No, it's just when you don't see the white anymore. Okay, good. All right. And going. then the last thing that we're going to add is walnuts. Okay. And you can add pecans. You can add anything you like to mm -hmm. it. It's really Ooh. just up to your preference. That's it. Then. Yeah. You pour it in this mug. Okay. If you want a little help, I yeah, can help I'll, you with oh, that. I need, I need a great deal of help. Great. And then you microwave it on high for two and a half minutes. That's it. And while that cooks. So you're going to nuke it and that's it and we're that's it. you're good to go. Instead of baking it, basically the microwave steams it. Look at that. We, in, in like 60 seconds, I just put it right there. It's Super great. easy. And what does it look your like in the end? Your kid can do it. I mean, that's the great thing. Is it yeah. like you can set this up? Your kid can do it. And we can do it as a, we can do it as a father daughter thing. Hundred percent. Love that. Um, so then, while that cooks and cools, because you want it to cool a little bit, you make your frosting. How fast? How long am I putting it in for? Two and a half minutes. Great. Okay. So with the frosting, it starts with confectioner's sugar. Okay. Then you add a little to give it a little personality, because it's Father's Day. And you want it to be special. <laughs> yeah, I'm all about personality. <laughs> exactly. We're gonna add some coconut, um, some Bolt House Farms uh, protein plus coconut. Okay. So the coconut's gonna give it a little, you know, special twist. Coconut cream cheese frosting. Great. And then um, your cream cheese. And the trick here is just to use room temperature cream cheese so that it mixes easy. So and if you have a hand it. mixer at home, like by all means, do that. So okay. then you just give that a whisk, and mm. it incorporates. Mm -hmm. And then you ultimately get this. Does it look like this. this in the end here? That is sure exactly a, what it looks like. Okay, boom, boom. So rich, creamy. And that's my frosting. That's your frosting. Can I can I put my finger in there? Oh yeah, absolutely. I was gonna make you. A, I was gonna make you a mug cake. Okay, but well, <laughs> you want to eat it? I'm a little. You absolutely little, like, can. This is this is. It's just like doing cooking yeah. with me. This is good. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that is good. Anybody can do it. And so then just to finish it, you know, you dollop it on top. <laughs> if you want to get fancy, you can pipe it. And then just hit it with a little bit more of that pumpkin spice. Look at that. And it's a special, easy treat. That's fantastic. You do it with a spoon father. and boom, you're done. Absolutely, 100%. Love that. Love now, that. on to the later portion of the day, uh -huh. at least for most people. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to make a cocktail. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Later portion of the day? All right, well, Afternoon. <laughs> it's going to be hot on Sunday, so I don't <laughs> exactly. know. It might be early on. Go ahead. Brunch. <laughs> So um, for this one, we're going to make a mezcal slushy. Okay. And slushies are completely on trend right now. Like oh, they're blowing up all over social media. You look them, you look, you see them on every list. They're everywhere, and okay. they're fun and they're easy. So in this one, you know, for me, I love cocktails that are both kind of. I, I like a fruity cocktail, but I don't like it to be cloyingly sweet. Right. I like a little balance. So that's why this Boltos Farm, the um, berries and green veggies, is perfect because in it is not only you know blueberries, grapes. Um, but it's got kale, it's got spinach, so you've got a natural balance yeah. in it. To that, we're going to add mezcal. Mezcal is for anybody at home. Mezcal for anyone at home is um, an alcohol similar to tequila. Okay. It's made <laughs> with um, the agave plant also, but it's got a smoky taste, okay. which is what makes it different and perfect for a special drink for Father's Day. Great. Um, we're going to add a little agave. Great. And just to bring out the cucumber and the blueberries that mm -hmm. naturally are in the Bolt House drink, we're going to add cucumber. some more fresh. Okay. 
a couple of basil leaves just because it wow, adds something at, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like there's a got, lot going on in there. There's there a lot of is, different stuff happening. In but there. it's like five ingredients all with big personality. So you get you this. know what I've been called five ingredients with big personality as well. By the way, it, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I will totally keep that in mind. Keep that, yeah, keep that, <laughs> put that in there. And then you add ice, you give it a blend. Okay. And then that's it. And then all you have is you have a beautiful cocktail. You can garnish it with some cucumber. Cucumber make right it pretty. there. And, and this is, at, it, and it's frozen. It's a frozen drink. It's perfect for, uh, you know, when we're talking about 110 degrees on, on Sunday. What's with the chocolate over there, by the way? So the chocolate, okay, so the last thing, if you're really time challenged or just challenged or just in challenged, the kitchen, yeah. uh, you can make these icy pops. They do all of the work for you. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is you can pick any of your favorite, you know, drinks. Yeah. You know, in this case, we're using, you know, mocha cappuccino. We're using vanilla chai latte, salted caramel. These are things that already have all those flavors in, so you don't have to think about what to make it taste good. It's mm -hmm. there. You just pour it in a pot mold. Mm -hmm. You freeze it. Done. That's it. Done. You've got an easy, your kid can do this, anyone can do this. You can do all that different flavors. So and then if you want to make it extra special, you just pull it out. You can dip it in, dip in that, you know, right. melt, chocolate, melt some chocolate, dip it in that, sprinkles, nuts. And all of these are really easy. Everyone can do them. It's a nice way to show you love. Juliet, you've uh, made my afternoon. Thank you so much. And your uh, sweet treats for everybody. For more information <laughs> about Juliet and, of course, these amazing recipes, go to kcalline.com. Click on Scene on TV. The mess scale is on me. <laughs> Back to you. I love